Peace, family. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just trying to do my due diligence and lead you, guide you, do what it is that my ancestors have told me to do and, you know, give you some type of clear insight on whatever it is that you may or may not be going through in your life and to try to get you some type of understanding. And the reason I say some type of understanding is because this is a general reading. This could be a message for you. And it don't have to be a message for you. It could be something that's happening now. It could be something that happened in the past. Or it could be something that's about to get ready to happen to you. All right. But in any event, if your spiritual team led you here to this video in some way, form, or fashion, this message is meant for you to hear. All right. And so with that being said, if this is your first time over here, do me a favor. Hit the subscription icon. Don't forget to hit the post notification bell when select all. That way you will be notified every time we upload a video and please pound the like button y'all please pound the like button it's some people out here that may need to hear this message as well and with that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video y'all all right matter of fact i'm gonna start with these cards let's, let's see what it is that we're dealing with we're gonna pull about five cards from the character deck y'all the character oracle i want to see what type of energy spirit got for us today I know lately there's been a lot of talk of finances. I don't know why Spirit is bringing this up a lot, man. Somebody needs to know something about some type of finances. Spirit, talk to me. What we need to know about today is energy. Okay. Yeah. Something to do with a child, y'all. There could be a child involved with this. It could be your child. It could be your stepchild. But make no mistake, it's a child involved with this. I feel like whoever this child is, man, there's some type of beacon of hope. This, this could be somebody that's very innocent as well. This could be a younger child. Doesn't have to be. to do with the child here yeah somebody's a genius man this child could be a genius this 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 child can have gifts somebody's child has gifts this is somebody that's very intellectual well maybe you were a gifted child okay it's giving neo in the matrix vibes yeah you could be a reader or whoever this child is they could be a reader Somebody that's a seeker of knowledge, an explorer of information. Somebody could have been very gifted as a child, man. This child could be a writer, or maybe you could be a writer. Or maybe somebody is gonna communicate this about you. I don't know why I said about you. Somebody could communicate this to you. Maybe something about who you were as a child. I feel like this per this person is waiting on something, man. This waiter, because I don't feel like it's a. This, this car isn't giving me like a waiter vibe. I feel like whoever this person is, they're waiting to give you some type of in, uh, information. Okay. This person could be waiting to give you some type of information about somebody who was trying to gang stalk you, man. It, it could be about somebody who was trying to gang stalk you, or this could be somebody that was in a gang and maybe left this gang. Now, when I say a gang, it could be a community. And I'm getting like some type of like, uh, like spirit is touching me right now as I said this. So I feel like somebody is waiting to come communicate something to you that was a part of this, okay? That has to do something with this whole ordeal, all right? And we're gonna, we're gonna jump into this, y'all. Let's get into it because I feel like you got somebody that's waiting to give you something. They could be watching you as well. 
Spirit, what's going on with this child? Talk to me. You need to know about this child, Spirit. What's going on with this child? Yeah. It's something about this child being very lazy, y'all. Something about this child, like, that's, that's having, that's, that's not ambitious right now. Maybe somebody was trying to put this child in the energy of, like, being stagnant, being lazy, wanting to procrastinate, especially with the Knight of uh, Pentacles coming out in reverse. Yeah. Something about this child not succeeding at something. With the six of, I gotta remember to tell y'all what's coming out. This is the six of uh wands. So I feel like this child is not succeeding at something that it's trying to trying to do. Yeah. Like this child was like not having like it's losing this child whoever this child is they're very impulsive when it comes to something with the king of wands in reverse yeah this child is going through a lot of hardship right now it could be working hard on something as well but they're not winning with the ten of wands come out whatever it is that they're working hard on is like it's, it's, it's becoming more of a burden than an enjoyment. Uh, or they can see it as more of a burden than an enjoyment. Yeah. Like this child, like this is somebody that's going through a lot of imbalances in their life. Like they're having a lot of disharmony in their life right now. Talk to the and I don't know why I'm getting hot, y'all. It's something about this child, y'all. That's it could be hot tempered. Yeah. I feel like this this child is trying they, whoever this child is, they're trying to progress. They could be even trying to come towards you. what it is man I want to see what is it that this child was being very impulsive in spirit validate the knight of wands in reverse something that this child was like it's like they working hard on something they very impulsive with it as well talk to spirit and I did just hear magic because anytime we deal with the knight of wands the knight of wands is somebody that's very charming very outgoing and that's a powerful manifesto okay this is somebody that's also a leader as well. Talk to me, Spirit. What we need to know about this Knight of Wands in reverse? Yeah, this, this child was trying to have some type of wish fulfillment. It's something that this child was trying to bring into fruition. And they're doing, I, I told y'all, I can't make it up. This child was using the phases of the moon to do it. They're very impulsive. I told y'all, I just heard magic. This child was using magic to try to bring something into fruition and they're using the phases of the moon, okay? And they're very impulsive at it. Like every chance they get, they're lighting candles, okay? Or whatever it is that they do along the phases of the moon to try to bring in this wish fulfillment, whatever it is that they're working at. I don't know why I heard it ain't gonna work. Talk to me, Spirit. What else you need to know? Yeah. Like, whatever it is, they're planning to do something. It's something that they're planning to do. It's something that they sat down and made a plan about with the Two of Wands. Some type of travel. This, this child could be planning on traveling towards you. Maybe this is what they're trying to manifest. Like whoever this child is, they literally 
have sat down already and made plans. Yeah. But I feel like something is not going their way with the night. I mean, I say the night with the uh, tower card in reverse. Whatever plans that they've made has come to a halt. It's like it's, it's stagnant right now. And it's it's, it's 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 solely based on whoever this child is not wanting to see things from a different perspective, not wanting to change something that they do and talk to the spirit. What what is it that this child is is, is trying to do? It's something about traveling. It's something about something that they sat down and planned to do. Talk to the spirit. What is it that the child is trying to do? I heard move, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I just heard in my head. Move. Talk to the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. This child is trying to work, walk away from like this family. I apologize. I, I keep on forgetting that I got the green screen on. But yeah, this child is trying to walk away from some type of family, y'all. It's trying, it's trying, I told y'all, I heard move. Spirit said this child was trying to move. So this, this child wants to walk away. It's possible that they've already walked away. If not, they're getting, they're trying to walk away from whatever it is that they work hard for into this Ten of Pentacles. Because you can see, like, the guy is walking away from something that they worked hard for. Right into this family life, into this, like, Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, is, it has a lot to do with generational wealth. Okay, and that's on both sides. It's not just financially. It has to do with like your family life and your business life. So whatever this child was doing, uh, the child was working hard to manifest something through moon magic. And I feel like it's moving from wherever it is that it is. And it's already made plans. Whoever this child is, maybe it's your child. Maybe it's a child that you know. This child has already made plans. They've already sat down and made some type of plans that's that's not working out well with them right now or for them right now of walking away from something or somebody to move i don't know why yeah they moving this, this child want to move away from somebody to somewhere where they feel like they can gain some type of financial stability yeah but i feel like whatever it is what whatever it is that this child was doing is not working out for them. It's causing things to slow down for them. It's causing them to be like to I heard stalemate, like to be just stagnant in areas of their life. I feel like this child has some type of gifts, man. Whoever this child is, they have gifts. This could be your child. child has some type of gifts. Talk to me, spirit. What do we need to know about uh, this genius card? Like, and, and when I say gifts, it doesn't have to be spiritual gifts, but I feel like this child was very innovative. Like, it's, this whoever this child is, they're very creative. And I heard express. They, this child wants to express their creativity. Talk to me, Spirit. What we need to know about this genius card? Yeah. I feel like, but whoever this person is, they very greedy. I don't know if this is a child. Somebody is very greedy, though. Very arrogant as well. With the Knight of uh, Pentacles coming out in the reverse. Yeah. And they're using, like, whoever this, like, they're working against. Somebody is working against. It's a practitioner that is, that's, that's greedy that I feel like is working against him or her. I don't know why I said him. Somebody got some type of hidden agendas. I feel like somebody is deceiving them, yeah. And it's about some type of inheritance. That's what this is all about. I feel like it's some type of money that was lost. Some type of inheritance that was lost. 
whoever this, whoever this is is this working against this this child. I'm assuming that it is the child. They're trying to cause him to have a, a lot of financial losses. Yeah. In terms of his success, they, whoever this person is, they're trying to. Who, who, I say his. It has to be a boy. It has to be a, a. This child has to be a young man. Okay. Whoever this practitioner is, or whoever this person is in their life, this child has somebody that's working against them. I feel like whoever this person is is working against them. They already know that this child is gifted. They know they're very innovative. They know they have passions to be wealthy in some way, form, or fashion, or to succeed in some way, form, or fashion. And they're working against them, okay? They're working against them for some type of money. Whoever this person is is working against them, man, they're very greedy, okay? I feel like they're trying to steal something from him, too. They could be trying to steal his gifts from him or his innovative uh, way of thinking, okay? And this all goes back to destiny. Make no mistake, this all goes back to destiny. There's somebody around this child that's trying to stop them to, from succeeding so that they can succeed, okay? Or maybe this is something that somebody did to you while you were young. Talk to me, Spirit. Yeah, they're trying to stop him from going on this new journey. Whoever this person is that's working against him is trying to stop him with the full car coming out from going on this new journey. They don't want him to be optimistic. They don't want him to be out, like, they don't want him to have to leave. I say him, it has to be a him. Talk to me, spirit. Take it as it resonates, though. Talk to me, spirit. I hope this is making sense in some way. Yeah, but I feel like he's being guided. This child is being guided. Whoever this genius child is, that's very innovative with the hermit card coming out, they're being guided to go on some type of new journey. Okay? But... Also, you know, it's a couple ways I could read this card as well. I feel like somebody is trying to keep him in some form of solitude. They want to keep them, I heard, to, their, to themselves, right? They want to keep them around him. Keep him around them, okay? But I feel like whoever this child is, they're being guided. We validate the uh, hermit card. Validate this hermit card. What's going on? I want to know. Yeah. It, this, this child, somebody is being guided to some type of, like, journey on some type of journey that's going to make them very financially wealthy. Talk to me, spirit. But I do feel like in the process, whoever this person is, they're going to have to lose some type of relationships along the way. Yeah. Somebody don't want this boy to win, man. Whoever this person is, they do not want this person to win. I feel like somebody is giving them Whoever this person is, I don't know why spirit is making me feel this way. I feel like um, whoever this person is is working against this child or this genius or you, if you are the genius in some way, form, or fashion. I do feel like somebody is they're trying to cause this person to not be successful. They don't want this person to get some type of opportunities or some type of gift that was left to them. This person, somebody don't want this child to get some type of gift. As I'm looking at this with the six of wands in reverse, somebody is trying to cause this person not to succeed, to not be victorious in terms of whatever it is that they're chasing. And I do feel like it was a gift with the ace of cups coming out. I feel like it was a gift. 
Somebody does not want them to have this gift. They want them to lose this gift that was given to them. Okay. It was some type of money that was given to this child. Okay. And it's somebody that's trying to cause this child to not get it. Spirit, validate this uh, high priest in reverse. Because this high priestess in reverse is, is a card that, that most definitely states that it's a practitioner. It's somebody that's using magic, dark magic, black magic to work against this child. Okay? Yeah. Somebody trying to use magic to control this child. Whoever this practitioner is, whoever this person is using magic against this child, they want to control this child. The strength card coming out. Yeah, they want to control this the child's intuition as well. I don't know why I feel like mother. Yeah, yeah. They don't want this. They don't want the child to be inspired. Yeah, I feel like this is. This could be somebody that's a mother figure that's in this child's life. That they, they want to control them. I feel like it's a mother that wants to control them and they don't want them to be inspired to go on to some type of new, new journey. That's crazy, man. This child could be like a reader. This child could be gifted, y'all. This child could be a reader in some way, form, or fashion. I don't know why Spirit got us talking about this child. Maybe it's something that you need to know. It's somebody that need to know this. But Spirit wanted this to come out, so we're going we gonna to get to it. What is it about this reader card that we need, need to know, Spirit? Clarify the reader card. I feel like some type of rebirth or some type of ending is about to get ready to take place when it comes to this. Maybe somebody is going to a reader. I don't know why I got that. Yeah. I feel like it's an authority figure. I feel like it's a father, y'all, that's been going to a reader. But I feel like all of that's about to get ready to change. They can no longer go to this reader. Somebody could have been going to a reader to look into this child. Or it could be somebody, I feel like who, somebody could be trying to cause some type of ending in terms of this person's stability, in terms of this person's leadership as well. Whoever this reader could be, it could be a leader. They could be a leader. And I feel like somebody is trying to cause some type of ending to this person's leadership as well. Well, it could be very much what I said. Somebody could have been going to this reader. It could have been the father that's been going to this reader and that's now coming to an end. Somebody just been, yeah, you feel me? Uh, somebody won't want to like cause this person to go off into a lack of, like to have a lack of direction, to not know where it is that they're going. Yeah. And it's all for greed, man. Whoever this person is, they very greedy. They wanna, they wanna, and if it's just not greed, I feel like it's somebody that's trying to cause this person to have a lot of delays in their wish fulfillment. Whatever it is that this person is supposed to receive, uh, like by divine order, somebody is trying to cause this person to have a lot of like lack of lack of like they don't want them to have it okay let's just see it like that yeah they want to have a lot of delays with the eight of uh print uh wands in reverse lack of movement talk to the spirit i don't know why like yeah yeah they don't want you to celebrate something 
It could be you. I do feel like when it comes out to this, man, I don't know if this is something that's been, been done to you as a child. I don't know why spirit brought me back to this child. This this is something that could have been, been going on with you as a child. You could have had somebody that uh, was trying to make you become lazy. To lose confidence in something that you're working very hard for. Okay? Whoever this person is, I feel like they, they very... This is somebody that, that wants you to be very impulsive as well. Well, they could have caused you to be this way in life. Or they could be saying that you, you, you're this type of person. Yeah, they want you to have a lot of imbalances in your life. No, no type of forward movement, no progress. Okay, and... and They've been doing some type of moon magic on your wish fulfillment. Or it could have been the other way around, man. It could have been the other way around. Let's dig into this, man. Let's see. Spirit, uh. What is this? What is this? Nine of Pentacles. What is this Nine of Cups in reverse, man? Talk to me, Spirit. What is this Nine of Cups in reverse? Whoever I'm talking to, you could possibly be a reader yourself, man. And I feel like it's somebody who could have known this, that you was this type, that, that you were this as a child, okay? They could have known that you were very gifted as a child. You were some type of genius. This is giving me like Neo in the Matrix vibes. Whoever you are, you the one, right? And I feel like you had somebody coming up against you since ch childhood. They were trying to control you because they knew you were supposed to be successful. And I'm hearing gift. Like you should have, like whoever I'm talking to, somebody knew that you were supposed to be a gift to this world in some way, form, or fashion. And they've been working up against you. It could have been a mother that's been working up against you as well. And whoever this person is, they've been trying to control your intuition. They don't want you to be inspired to move uh, from an intuitive standpoint, okay? And they feel like by controlling your intuition, it will stop you from gaining some type of generational wealth or knowing about some type of generational wealth. They felt like by disconnecting you from your intuition, it will cause you to not want to run toward some type of inheritance, okay? Uh, be positive about some type of inheritance that's supposed to be coming towards you. Like I said, you know, whatever this is, you're being guided toward it to begin with, okay? Make no mistake, like spirit is guiding you toward this. You see how he's shining the light on this new journey that you're supposed to be uh, getting ready to go on? So I feel like your spirit is trying to lead you to this guy, to, to uh, on this new journey and you have somebody that's a mother figure in your life that's trying to disconnect you from your intuitive uh, nature that's telling you about this inheritance that somebody is trying to steal from you, right? And uh, like I say, they don't want you to be successful in this. They don't want you to be successful in obtaining this gift of money that somebody gave you or left you, okay? And I feel like whoever left this to you, they knew that you were a gifted child. This was supposed to make you stable in some way, form, or fashion so that you could fulfill your purpose. This energy is like, I'm, I'm over this energy. And as I just said, that man, somebody just made me bite my lip. They do not want this to come out, y'all. Somebody don't want this to come out. Somebody is like, shut up, shut up. You feel me? Uh, somebody won't, man, I'm telling y'all, bro. Somebody don't want this coming out, bro. Somebody do not want this coming out. And I feel like it's this mother. It's a mother that do not want this coming out, y'all. Somebody like, shut up. Yeah. So whoever this person is, like whoever I'm talking to, it's possible that you could have some type of psychic abilities. Like you could be a psychic reader. You could be a tarot reader. You could be, uh, or you could have some type of psychic abilities such as myself. You could be very, very clairvoyant. Um, or you could be like, you, you're a leader in some way, form, or fashion, or you were meant to be 
a leader. Somebody is trying to call some type of end to your ability to lead, you know, to your gifts because they don't want you to lead. They don't want you to have this position. It's somebody that does not want you to have this position. They don't want you to have this wish fulfillment, okay? Somebody wants you to be, uh, to not know what direction you're supposed to be headed in. They want you to have a lot of this uh, delays as well. And it could be like three people. It's three people involved in this, y'all. They don't want you to be uh, in the middle of some type of celebration. Spirit. I don't know why this came out. Yeah, they're trying to stop some type of celebration. Spirit, talk to me, man. What is it that we need to know about this uh, this celebration? What is it that they're trying to stop? Just, just, just get the child from celebrating. type of judgment, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want you, they don't want you to celebrate this, this nine of pentacles, y'all, that somebody was trying to steal from you. I can't make this up. Somebody is trying to steal a nine of pentacles from you. Somebody is trying to steal, and whoever you are, it's a possibility that you could be single. But I, you don't have to be single, but it's a possibility that you could be single and it's somebody that's trying to steal something that was left from you or to you that was supposed to put you in a position to where you didn't have to work. And I do feel like it's some type of truth that's about to get ready to come out about this. It's some type of truth because like spirit is calling, making a judgment call when it comes to this. Okay. And, and whoever this person is, they don't want you to maybe gain some type of truth about this nine of pentacles now the nine of pentacles is all about somebody that's able to like retire early like you able to just like uh chill and enjoy the fruits of your hard work and i feel like somebody does not want you in this energy it could be this mother okay and I feel like this mother, whoever I'm talking to, man, you got a mother, man, that knew, or somebody that was a mother figure in your life that knew you were very gifted as a child. And they've been working up against you since. And it's possible that somebody could have left you some type of inheritance because I do feel like somebody prophesied something over your life that um, you were going to play some type of major role in society. And they left you something that was supposed to make you comfortable while you was here. This is crazy, man. Talk to me, spirit. I feel like some type of some somebody is journaling something about this, man. Well, somebody is somebody, it's a letter. I feel like somebody is writing a letter. Somebody is about to get ready to communicate something to you with this writer card coming out. Somebody is about to get ready to communicate something to you. And as I talk right now, y'all, believe me, I'm having a hard time even getting this message out because somebody does not want this message to come out. Somebody don't want you to know about this. They don't even want this being communicated. Like I just said, I just bit the side of my jaw. Somebody is saying, shut up. Somebody does not want this to come out. Talk to me, spirit. What do we need to know about this writer card? I'm going to go back into my other deck. What do we need to know about this writer card? Yeah. Whoever this per person is writing, they're going through some type of self-doubt. I told y'all, I'm having a hard time even getting this message because somebody does not want this to come out. Yeah. Somebody is having a, like a lot of bad luck, man. 
And this this is for resisting some type of change. And, and I do feel like with the judgment card coming out, it's possible that somebody is having a lot of bad luck because they did some type of gray yarn magic. I feel like somebody was working with some type of spirit. They could have conjured some type of spirit that ended up, and I don't know why I heard telling. Somebody could be telling something about this or somebody could be wanting to write you and tell you something about somebody that conjured up spirits to cause you to have some type of bad luck or to cause you to be disconnected from your gifts or something. Talk to you, spirit. Yeah. To cause you to be in like, to have like, ah, let me see. These, this, this, was, this was in the other deck, I apologize. I got these cards mixed up. Talk to you, spirit. What do we need to know, spirit? It's a tough one, now. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was trying to disconnect you from uh, this money that was supposed to put you in a, a stable position. I feel like somebody is gonna get ready. To, like, you finna receive a letter about this or some type of communication concerning this situation where somebody could have possibly did some type of graveyard magic to try to disconnect you from this this money that was supposed to be putting you in some type of uh, financial place in your life where you could be stable or have some type of security. I got all these coming out, y'all. These, these was already in there. I apologize. These already came out. Talk to me, Spirit. What else we need to know about this? Yeah, whoever this person is, man, with the nine of uh, wands coming out, this is somebody who wants to persevere. This is somebody who wants to persevere. And it's possible that you could have went through a lot. It could be possible. It could be possible with the nine of pentacles and the four of uh, I mean, with the nine of us. Uh, somebody don't want my words coming out right, y'all. Okay? It could be possible with the nine of wands and the four of pentacles. Some, you could have went through a lot. Somebody could have put you through a lot. And that's what this person is about to come in and get ready to tell you. They, they want to tell you of how somebody uh, did some type of graveyard magic to cause you to have a lot of bad, bad luck or to disconnect you from obtaining this money that was supposed to put you into a position in your life to where you will be very secure, okay? And they're gonna let you know about everything that they put you through they, with the nine of uh, wands coming out because this this is this is the wounded warrior. The nine of uh, wands is the wounded warrior, okay? This is somebody who's been through a lot, okay? But came out on top, okay? And I feel like somebody is gonna tell you why it is that you went through everything that you went through. Yeah. Why it is, like, they're going to tell you about this this magic that was done on you with the Ace of Wands in reverse that caused you to, uh, you know, have a lack of inspiration. They're going to tell you about somebody that misused magic that did some type of dark magic on you. Somebody finna come spill everything to you. That's why whoever this person is, man, they fight hard for this, for this energy not to come out. Yeah. And I feel like whoever this person is, man, they gonna come in trying to apologize to you. This is somebody who wants to apologize to you, man. And and they gonna do it by telling you how somebody did this to stop you from having some type of new beginning. I don't know what this supposed to mean, y'all. It's a waiter, man. It's somebody that's waiting to give you some type of information. I feel like it's, it's somebody that's just waiting to come in and clear things up. They want to clean some things up, man. Talk to me, Spirit. What we need to know about this waiter card? Yeah. 
Yeah. This could be an officer, y'all. I cannot make this up. Well, this could be a lawyer. That, and I feel like when I looked at this picture, I feel like this lawyer is going to come in with some type of paperwork. With the justice card coming out. Or some type of law official that's been watching you. This person been watching you. Yeah. I feel like th this person could have been involved with causing some type of imbalance in your life. Or maybe this person had some type of fallout with this group. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're taking the risk to, at doing this with the uh, with the page of wands. This is somebody who's who's taking the risk to do this. Yeah, they're taking the risk to, to do this to to like. This could be somebody that's very given too to give you this. This could be somebody that's very like. This get in there, man. These are not the cards. Where did these cards come from? Excuse me, y'all. I apologize, man. I told y'all when I picked these cards up, it must have got picked up with this talk to me spirit. So make no mistake. This I told y'all, it's, it's like, bro, you have to understand when you tapping into a read, you picking up all of that energy. It's somebody who don't want this information coming out. Yeah. I feel like it's because it, whoever this person is, this law official, they having a lot of bad luck because they because they part in this shit. And I don't know why. Like I'm getting very frustrated right now. I feel like this law official could be very frustrated right now with this. Yeah, they going through a lot of delays, man. This is somebody that's having a lot of delays right now. This is why this, this is why they're coming in. Or well, it could be somebody trying to stop them from coming in with this information, man. Yeah. Due to some type of moon magic. Somebody is doing moon magic on him, man. Somebody is doing some type of moon magic on this, this law official person. It could be somebody that he was in a relationship with, or she was in a relationship with, whoever this person is. They causing this person for, to, they're very passionate about causing this person to have a lot of bad luck in their life. Yeah. They won't, like, they're using moon magic to cause this person to have a lot of delays or to stop this person from coming towards you, man. Let me see. What do we need to know about this justice card? Spirit? Talk to me about this justice card. What is this? Is, is somebody... What do we need to know about this justice card? Let's talk to me, Spirit. Yeah. I feel like somebody want to win at all costs, man. Whoever this person is, they want to win. Oh, no, I apologize. Whoever this person is, they coming in to be very honest. This Whoever this law official person is, they're coming in to be very honest. This, this person is coming in to tell some type of truth, okay? Yeah, that's because they want to relieve themselves of some type of worry that they was going through. Because I do feel like at one point, either somebody was very dishonest to this person or this person was being very dishonest. But now I feel like they have to come in and tell some type of truth because they want to relieve themselves from all of this bad luck that they're going through. Talk to the Yeah. Yeah, from working with somebody. They was working with a dark practitioner that was uh trying to cause them to be. It's somebody that's trying to cause them to be uninspired from doing this, y'all. Somebody, bro, is trying to work against this, 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 this lawyers, this, this, this judge, whoever this person is that wants to come in and give you some type of truth. 
it's somebody that's trying to work up against them to try to stop them from coming in with this information. But this lawyer wants to come in to try to clear them up, that's themselves up from their involvement in this. All right. And I really do hope that y'all like got this because believe me, I had a hard time getting this message out to y'all. Somebody don't want it to get out. All right. But if it did resonate with you in some way, form or fashion, please let me know how it resonated with you in the comment section below, man. And just uh, hit that like button for me. All right. And with that being said, I just want to thank the spirits for coming through and giving me this message, even though we did have to fight with this message. Uh, I just want to thank Spirit for coming through and I want to thank the Most High for continuously giving them the nutrients that's necessary for them to get up and do what they do on a day-to-day -day basis as well. And with that being said, I just want to leave you guys as I can. I want you guys to always, always be aware because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace family, peace meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. I'll show you.